Doctors in Salisbury have confirmed that Yulia Skripal has been discharged from the hospital following last month's nerve agent attack, but she's asked for the media to respect her privacy. Her father, Sergei, is also on the road to recovery, but at a slower rate. We have now discharged Yulia from Salisbury District Hospital. Yulia has asked for privacy from the media, and I want to reiterate her request. Her father has also made good progress. On Friday, I announced that he was no longer in a critical condition. Although he's recovering more slowly than Yulia, we hope that he too will be able to leave hospital in due course. Well, the Salisbury Hospital has issued that short statement confirming that Yulia Skripal has indeed been discharged. Well, and they said that this isn't the end of her treatment, but it hospital, marks a significant milestone. Reports suggest that she left last night, that she's been taken to an undisclosed location where she can be safe from the media. The Foreign Secretary, Boris Johnson, has tweeted saying congratulations, that it's wonderful that Yulia Skripal is out of hospital, and here's to her full and speedy recovery and there's already been reaction from the Russian embassy here in the UK saying that we congratulate Yulia on her recovery but we need urgent proof that what's being done to her is being done according to her own free will. Now the medical recovery that Yulia Skripal and to a lesser extent her father Sergei have made is being presented as nothing short of extraordinary here given the severity of the nerve agent that they were said to have been exposed to. Five weeks ago, Sergei Skripal and Yulia Skripal were found slumped on that park bench in Salisbury. And very soon afterwards, the British government announced that they had been poisoned with a deadly nerve agent, one that the government laboratory here, Porton Down, had identified as Novichok. And throughout the media scandal and the ensuing diplomatic fallout, the medical prognosis for the Skripals was catastrophically grave. Uh, many chemical weapons experts were uh, saying that they wouldn't survive. And media reports um, in the first few days, some of them even jumped the gun, saying that the Skripals had been murdered. And when she pointed the finger of blame at Moscow, the Prime Minister, Theresa May, was also pessimistic uh, when talking about the Skripals' condition. Sadly, late last week, doctors indicated that their condition is unlikely to change in the near future future and they may never recover fully. But despite the hospital releasing this statement saying that Yulia Skripal has been discharged, the story here is already being spun in a particular way. It's being spun in a particular direction again. Some of the media reports here now are keen to make one thing clear. To paraphrase a BBC report from this morning, the idea that Yulia and her father are going to make a full recovery is wrong. They're going to be permanently damaged by what's been done to them. The Skripals were said to have been poisoned by the so-called Novichok class of nerve agent developed in the Soviet Union, although it was never called by that name. It is said to cause permanent damage and even death and is believed to be one of the, the most deadliest set of substances of its kind. The British Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson claimed the government's Porton Down military lab had attributed the agent to Russia and confirmed it was Novichok, something later denied by the lab's chief. When I look at the, at the evidence, I mean, the people from, from Porton Down, they were absolutely categorical. And I asked the guy myself, I said, are you sure? And he said, there's no doubt. To be clear, you're not able at Porton Down to say where it is from. We haven't yet been able to do that. We spoke to Oliver Lepic from the Foundation for Strategic Research, who believes this type of nerve agent is extremely damaging. Uh, a Novichok is supposed to be very toxic, highly toxic, uh, five to eight times more toxic than, than VX, which is all already very, very toxic. So um, small amounts uh, uh, should have killed uh, uh, Mr. Skripal, for sure. But um, what is still very uh, uh, um, difficult to assess today is how the Novichok was delivered to, uh, to, to the victim. Uh, so before we know exactly how the Novichok was delivered to the victim, it's very difficult to assess the amount of the chemical agent that was in contact with the victims.